hello friends today i'm going to show you how we can check uh, perform uh, my health check for microsoft sql servers in for multiple servers so in in this video i have shown you that for how we can check uh, for one server in that uh, line in that code only there is an option uh, to get the read the content but i forgot to say uh, but a little bit i have done some modifications why because uh, if i go down here some of them are asking that they need report with the server name underscore system date under right like html in this format they they are requesting the uh, report as well so here so uh, here two requirements one is i need to do health check for multiple servers and each server name i mean uh, this is the first requirement second requirement is like i need to get the report with the timestamp this is the two requirements so if i go here so this is the date okay this is the i'm getting the date here into variable called uh, start time after that i'm going uh, formatting in, into like string year month date hours and minutes and seconds here i'm concatenating all the into html format so here in the c drive i'm in the i'm server list is there if i go here so now this is the named instance uh, default instance named instance uh, this is like there is no space if i see like this okay sometimes uh, like whenever you done like you done like this okay make sure that uh, uh, there is no gap okay at least why if you if you have like multiple channels paste like this and press one by one so you have to do like that control yes save that's it now paste the code so this is the same link that I have given here in this report. Okay, DB health check for multiple servers. You can get it from this link as well. Okay, so now uh, I'm doing health check for four servers. One is 2019, 2022 and 2017. Click execute. So as of now, I'm testing for 17 and like for example, these servers, these uh, I mean, some queries may not ex uh, run in other lower versions. You have to make sure that each and every SQL query that is uh, capable uh, running on lower versions as well. As of now, I'm testing in 2017. Some queries, I mean, it's while deploying into your production it has to take care whether it is showing the correct result or not what is equal query that i am using in okay this is just i'm giving the overall reference for you okay now just click execute button yes that's it now it is got uh, done now see i'm seeing the lenovo it is giving the result it is good fine so i'm sql server 22 it is also running fine showing the result or not yes it is good so this, but this is virtual not virtual but uh what is giving as virtual method. so make sure that what is the query that we have written that in that okay and like this all depends upon the voice okay not uh, the query error okay c six sql server 22 22 manually manual so everything it is running giving okay and okay now 2017 is also giving if i do again click again so the fi files da doesn't going to over it and we will get with another timestamp as well okay so this is how you can run health check for multiple servers along with timestamp so i hope you may like my uh, initiative thank you bye